players arrive at the competition, they are told which side they'll represent. So they could either have the pro or the con. Uh, both of the sides are called. Uh, on one side, there's the affirmative. Those are arguments in favor of the resolution. And the negative, those are the sides that are opposed to it. In our case, we flipped a coin, and I lost. That means I get to argue for the affirmative case. It also means that I get to speak first and last. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. My name is John Martin, and I will be presenting arguments in favor of the affirmative. It seems to me that the development of apps like PhotoMath should not come as a surprise. After all, you're just a step in the logical progression from four function calculators the scientific calculators, to graphing calculators, to calculators with a built-in computer algebra system, to the problem of problem-solving capabilities of Wolfram Alpha, even. Over the years, as technology has improved, our curriculum has changed to take advantage of it. Consider, for example, that we no longer extract square roots by hand, nor do we require our trace students to perform linear interpolations. Have our students suffered because we no longer teach these things? not. In our current math curriculum, students now spend years learning rules for simplifying algebraic expressions and solving equations. Rules, I might add, that some never can learn. Since technology is now capable of performing these steps, doesn't it make sense that we should show our students how to use the technology as opposed to teaching them the rules and spending the time on that? Imagine, for example, how much time could be saved we were no longer required to teach the rules of differentiation or the techniques of integration. This is time that could be used to focus on more important problem solving skills, such as setting up optimization and related rate problems and the applications of the definite interval. But even if we don't make the major changes I've just suggested, there is some value in having students look at and work through the step-by-step -step solutions that are provided by Photomath. Students who use the app in this way will be able to improve their math skills. It's very much like having an on-call math tutor, 24-7. Some might say that students will see photo math as a way to avoid doing homework. In that case, perhaps we should rethink our use of homework. What's its purpose? How can it be improved? We need to think deeply about how we can create an environment of learning both inside and outside the classroom because technology is making the doing of homework outside of the classroom a moot point unless we make major changes. Perhaps it's time that we start asking questions that only people can answer and not machines. We'll now hear from my worthy opponent. So, in this debate competition, as my competitor, as he was going through, I made some very important notes in my head. Shouldn't be a surprise. Affect use of technology, sharpens math skills, an opportunity to rethink homework. Okay, these were just some of the things that I took note as he, as he went through his affirmative. Yes, it is true that technology has gotten better to help us do mundane calculations like approximating square roots. I can recall when I was in my junior year in high school and taking pre-calculus and computing logarithms with finding the characteristic in the mantissa and how laborious that was. In my senior year, I purchased my first TI SR 51A calculator. It had that log key on it and it did everything for me. I was so excited about this new technology and how it's gonna help me solve problems. To be honest, I was excited because my calculator was going to save me time doing my homework. But looking back, now as a teacher, I realize that before technology is used to solve a problem, it's important that you understand the language of mathematics and the fundamental concepts needed to solve that problem. So I'm not opposed to students using technology to augment their mathematics. Rather, it's when technology is introduced into the curriculum. If you have not acquired the appropriate basic concepts of the language of mathematics, the tools of technology are not going to help you understand or learn mathematics better. As previous, as my opponent and I have talked about, PhotoMath can be easily used to cheat. Technology like PhotoMath might make us think that certain homework problems are a new point. User beware. 
Does using photomath to solve an equation or differentiate a function really help sharpen the skills, or does it make students lazy? Many students will use this app to analyze the solution to their problem and just write down the answer that photomath provides. I, I believe it's the latter. They're just gonna use it to, to write down the answers. We as teachers must convince our students that there are no shortcuts, and a little suffering and hard work along the way is good for the mathematical school. Most problems, most problems at homework in a, in a math textbook, I like to call toy problems. So what technology like Photomath can, can solve these problems? What is important is that the student may play with these toys. Solving homework problems is critical for knowledge of specifics such as language, notation, terminology, methodology, principles and generalizations. <coughs> this is the purpose of assigning homework problems. Using an app like Photomath to do homework problems skips these fundamental and critical steps in the learning of mathematics. You must be able to walk before you can run. As we know, it's this foundation of solving homework problems that enables students to analyze and synthesize higher level problems in mathematics. Photomath does not promote critical thinking skills. It doesn't address the most important verbs in mathematics, like prove argue, model, generalize, estimate, and construct. I'm not opposed to or against students using technology to augment their mathematics. Rather, it's when technology is presented in the curriculum, when it's introduced. We know that prohibiting students from using technology to do mathematics is impossible. Tools like Photomath, CAS calculators, Desmos, Wolfram Alpha, and name a few, are very helpful and great apps but in the hands of students who are proficient in the language of mathematics. I tell my students that mathematics is a language, and to learn a language, you must be able to see it, read it, know its literal meaning, and apply the language in different contexts. So for example, in the beginning of your class, what does the verb solve, x squared minus x minus eight equals zero, really mean? If a student uses photomath to solve this equation, what does that symbolic solution tell you? What does that deceitful decimal tell you? If, you're, if you do not understand the language map and have the fundamental knowledge of the specifics, the verb is meaningless. Using photomath to solve a problem skips these fundamental steps in the learning, the language of mathematics. And it's the fundamental understanding that are the building blocks needed to acquire the language of mathematics. Words matter. Letting our students use technology like photomath in the beginning of our class or calculates to solve problems would be like handing a person who's illiterate Microsoft Word to write an essay. As technology like Photomath continues to improve and students have easy access to this technology, we as teachers are going to have to address its appropriate use 